what's going on YouTube did you miss me all right I'm actually right now at the DHL headquarters um, see it I'm at DHL we're gonna try this again uh, I'm going with another manufacturer so I'm gonna ship off this coat this is a Columbia coat I got I'm just gonna ship it to them as a reference of how you know I want my coat made all right as far as the down as far as the measurements so on and so forth all right so we're gonna go in here ship this thing off to China and uh, we're gonna take it from there all right stay tuned So the jacket's on its way. Uh, it's going to Dongguan, China. The shipping cost me cost me um, $107.33. So the actual sample costs $120. When the other manufacturer told me in my DMs that he normally charged $300 for a sample, you know, I told him listen don't tell me you're doing me any favors because if you told me it was three hundred dollars i would have paid the three hundred dollars okay because i'm serious about my business i'm serious about my brand all right y'all so it says that you know the package should get to the manufacturer december 16th so we'll take it from there we'll wait we'll see uh we'll check the process see how the jacket's coming along once they start the production and we'll see how long it takes before I actually have the jacket in hand. All right, y'all? All right, y'all. So we're back at the lab. Uh, we left DHL. I came home. I had some packages waiting for me. So I have some orders to fulfill. I'm still waiting on something to come today, too. So, But in the meantime, I'll get started. Uh, I got three orders to fulfill right now. But while I'm here, I'm going to show you guys a few things. I never showed you guys some of the tools that I use for the trade. So here we go. Obviously, I believe y'all saw my aglet crimper before. If you're gonna be placing any aglets on your drawstrings, definitely invest in one of these. We've all seen a heat gun. I got my uh, cloth scissors, two sets, all right, this right here is Hughes, the X-Acto knife, definitely get one of those, and get yourself a seam ripper, okay, and I'll show you why in a few. Definitely need one of these seam rippers. Okay, you can pick these up from any uh, fabric store or Joanne Fabrics or whatever. But they don't cost a lot, so make sure you invest in one of these. Tweezers. Make sure you get yourself some tweezers too. It doesn't matter. Expensive, cheap, just get yourself a set. I'll show you why in a few. Now, obviously, here's the kit of the aglets that I put on strings. All right, there. Different sizes, different colors. All right, now. Oh, another thing. For all you crazies that want to know uh, how these wash tests are going and stuff like that. The, this was a transfer. You guys seen this. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel. This was a transfer that I got made up via Supercolor. It's a water-based uh, heat transfer. This shirt has been washed maybe 10 times. Still looks flawless, all right? Still looks flawless. But I can be biased though. I can be biased because it's, it's the way that I wash my my uh, my clothing. I wash, uh, I wash my clothing in cold water and I don't, I don't, I don't put a lot of my clothes in the dryer. I put my undergarments in the dryer. That's about it. 
maybe that's too much information, but put my undergarments in the dryer and everything else pretty much uh let air dry. Okay. And that's that's basically because you know I don't like my clothes to like fade or shrink. So I don't know, but anyways, it's holding up pretty well. There you go. Okay. Now let's get to these hoodies. Now we gotta make two we gotta make two unfamous hoodies right now. And um one one DCYLP abstract hoodie. So the two unfamous hoodies, we got the red we're gonna go with and we got the Heather Gray. Okay. The DCYLP abstract hoodie. It's the black version. Okay, so we're gonna start with that one because the heat press is already heated up to 320 degrees. And that's what the abstract transfer calls for. But the unfamous transfer is called for 350. So after we finish this, we'll just bump it up to 350. Okay. It's a little cold in the lab right now, so let me just make sure the heat press is where it should be. Heat press is looking good. It's putting on a little higher readout than what we needed at. It's at 323, fluctuating 322. I'll take that because, like I said, the transfer needs to be applied at 320. Okay. Now you guys have all seen me do this part before. If you've been following me. And I hope that you are. Because I do have 507 of you guys subscribed now. Salute to that. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell notification. So you never so you never miss any of my latest and greatest content. Alright, y'all. So we're just gonna get this all lined up and pressed up. I laid this design in sideways because it's so big. So. Pardon my back. This design right here is a hit. one of my top sellers I'm almost sold out once it's sold out it's gonna be obsolete I'm never gonna make this design again I'm gonna move on that's how I operate you know once I sell the amount that I want I move on to the next design and if anybody didn't have the opportunity to pick up that design if they wanted it, hey, that's their loss. You know what I'm saying? I put all my pieces up on my website. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. So on to the next. Sorry, folks. And I don't restock. I don't remake. That's that. And it's because I have so many, I have so many dope ideas, so many designs. So, I, you know, I, I don't want to be stagnant. I got to, you know, constantly, constantly evolve, baby. That's what it's all about. Elevation. Evolving. So let me stop rambling and get this pressed up. Heavy pressure. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. You gotta get it right, buddy. You gotta tell me what movie that's from. We slacking either. Y'all tell me what movie that's from. Movie. 
All right, now we're gonna do the right sleeve. Man, these things are so easy. I could do, listen, I could do these things in my sleep. Easy. Takes no time. Now, these three, these three pieces right here, if you total them up, if you total them up, that's a total of 100, $130 in sale with with a price with, with a profit margin with a profit margin of 85. So, that's pretty good numbers to me. I don't know about y'all, or what y'all think, but that's why I don't have to raise any of my prices on my, on my pieces. done so we'll just set that to the side all right now let's get this tip pumped up to Wait for that bad boy to hit uh, 350. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be applying today. All right, we got the two unfamous. Can't really see these like you see the super color ones. These are the two unfamous designs that we're putting on the hoodies. Obviously, my garment tag and my woven patch supplied from the Dutch label shop. All right. Now, I'm actually running out of these, so I got to pick up some more. Now, one thing I never showed you guys before. Okay. This right here. Uh, let me start with the red one. This right here is a badger hoodie, okay? There's no Agnes on the on the strings, all right? Badger, I told you guys before that I like to use badger. Now you see that, you see that tag? It's not a typical tearaway tag, all right? Now let's get back to those tools I was talking about. Don't call me a hater, but I, I you guys, you guys know me if you've been watching. I don't, I never use the menu. I never, excuse me. I never leave the manufacturer's tag on the piece. I always get tearaways. Or if it's sewn on like this, remember, remember those tools I showed you guys earlier? Let's grab one of those tools. Seam ripper. Okay. This is what you use a seam ripper for. 
Grab that thread. Make sure you don't stab into the hoodie and make a hole. And just pull that thread out. Pull that thread out. Okay? When you start pulling that thread out, this sewn on tag is going to start coming right off. Right off. Easy. Okay, that's the secret. If it's not tear away. If you guys don't have access to the tear away uh, blanks or what have you, and you buy anything that got the sewn on tag, all you gotta do, get yourself a seam ripper and just take it off, okay? A few more threads, just a few more. See, yeah, just, there it goes. Look, look, okay? Boom. Almost done. Almost done, y'all. But before you rip off the tag, you make sure because you don't want to forget what size you're working with. So make sure you keep it around your working area so you don't place the wrong, so you don't reapply your own tag on the piece with the wrong size, okay? Now this one is a small, so I won't forget because all I'm making is smalls at the moment. And I already got my small, um, my own personal small care labels laid out. All right. Now see, the tag is gone, no holes. But you see that white, the leftover white thread? Check this out. That's why we need the tweezers. Pull them right on out. Simple. See that, y'all? And it was like it was never there. Look at that. It's never there. So there's no reason, there's no reason to leave that cheap gilding label on your sweatshirt gone all right you don't gotta leave that cheap old gilding label on a sweatshirt now we just apply our own now we just apply our own care label all right easy all right, press is at 348. I could just apply, I could just apply the, um, my own care label now. It's enough heat. Okay. So just turn that bad boy inside out. Or use your cat press, whatever you want to use. Put your care label on there. Okay. I just slid my Teflon pillow in. That's all I'm doing. I'm lining this bad boy up now. Back off the heat press, the pressure or something, because now I got the pillow in there. Seven seconds. And that's it, y'all. Don't that look way better 
and having that badger sewn on tag up there, we got our own label up there now. That's how you do it. Okay, so if you don't have the tearaway tag, make sure you get yourself, if it's sewn on there, make sure you get yourself a seam ripper. Just take it off and apply your own. Okay. Now, that's that. I'm not going to show you guys how I apply the aglets with the aglet gun because I already showed you that. Go watch, go watch my, go watch my old video if you want to see that. <laughs> All right. But I did wanted to show you guys how. You know, I remove the sewn on tags. Okay. Now I'm going to finish these hoodies up and get them ready to ship out and continue on with my day. How much time I got? Oh, we good on time. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. So I'm going to try to run through this real quick. All right, now y'all know sometimes how some brands have that stubborn, that stubborn sewn on, sewn on logo like this. And sometimes uh, I know Champion does it and stuff like that. I'm going to show y'all how to get rid of that too, okay? Let's get rid of that real quick. Now you just take your X-Acto knife. And slice into the thread a little bit. Be careful. Make sure you don't cut through the garment. Okay? So you want to make sure your X-Acto knife is nice. See how I already cut through it? Make sure your X-Acto knife is nice and sharp. Okay? Just cutting through the thread. Go across it. across it on the front side I like to go across it on the front side be careful not to put enough be careful not to put a lot of pressure on it to where you cut your fingers as well because this blade is very very sharp I know some of y'all might be thinking oh man it didn't even work the headache but to me it is because I don't want nobody else's brand on the garment except my own Okay. Now you can do the back side too if you want. Cut into the back side. Like I said, once again, make sure you don't cut into the actual garment. Just run across it real smooth with the blade. Okay. Right, I ran across both sides. So now what I'm gonna start doing is taking my tweezer and just plucking at that. Y'all see how that's coming out? Y'all see that? See how that's coming out? Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Your boy nice with it. Look at look at that there. Your boy is nice with it. Okay. Now, I ain't going to finish this, y'all, because my camera about to die. All right? So, this is a day with Mr. DCYLP doing a few things, going to DHL, shipping off the jacket to the manufacturer, coming back to the lab, fulfilling orders. And I got to go later on pick up some more supplies all right but look look how that's coming out see see with the tweezers and exact no knife and you can use your seam ripper with this too once you cut into the actual thread but as you guys see eventually you want to have all these threads out okay so you could just do the front side do the front side and do the back side as well. 
And before you know it, all that thread going to be gone. All right. Now. Make sure you guys share this video. Tell your mom about me. And if this video was helpful, you might want to throw something in your boy's cash app. You know, something light. You know, it don't got to be too heavy. You know what I'm saying? But look at that. Look how that thread just falling out. All right. And I'm just going slow. I want to. I want y'all to show. I just want to show y'all. Like I said, my camera about to die. So, but all right, y'all. That's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna finish up these three orders. Take it from there. Hopefully, you guys are working hard on your brands. Hopefully, this this video was helpful for you. And like I always say, choose your own path. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.